on that on the matter at hand. All right, I ain't doing that no more. All right, now remember the because this pot is super big, most of my heat is coming from the center. I want to make sure that I'm kind of dragging the back side of the spoon along the center because I don't want it to stick. I want it to reduce, but I don't want it to stick. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. You know what? Now that I think about it, I, my grandma used to lean on the stove like this. my sugar she be cooking and she just be leaning leaning right there on the counter and, and stirring and cooking and stirring and cooking she sure did and everything she did was good everything I'll taste that and see if my flavors are where I want them to be My elementary school teachers have an expression that they tell their kids when they've done something great. Perhaps they've completed a do now or um, answered a math problem correctly, read an entire book. And the teacher will say, kiss your brain. Well, tonight, folks. I'm kissing my brain because this is an absolute masterpiece. It is. I mean, I'm not bragging on myself. I'm bragging on God. God did it. Ooh. He did it. Because he gave me the foundation. He taught me how to do what it do. I'm going to give that about three more minutes to cook down. And then I'm going to add my chicken. Mm, 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 mm. That is good, good. You ever had something so good, good? You just, ooh, huh. Let me start on these plantain before I, I lose it. Plantain. A very thick banana. I got mine when it was kind of yellow because I want it kind of sweet. You can get green plantain. It's not as sweet. It's more like a, a vegetable when you do it then. The taste anyway. But um, I wanted a little sweetness to my plantain tonight to kind of offset the curry. So I got them when they were fairly ripe. And it's a thick skin. Very thick skin. Ah, oh, it's gonna peel away. Little darling, peel away. I'm sorry, I just, I, I don't know what I turned that into. Oh. One more minute. Plantain. And I'm going to just do some diagonal. Diagonal. Like so. Okay. okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I know, but... Yeah, I don't want them too thick. Maybe a half inch. All right. 
It's kicking chicken. Now put my chicken in there. Ooh. 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 Mm. Oh my goodness. Why did I cook this much food? It's just me. Unless somebody want to come join me. You welcome. I bought some plantains Monday. I bought these Monday. <laughs> Did you cook them yet, Patty? My sister bought some plantains on Monday. So I was trying to see. Hey, Court. I'm going to wash that out because I'm going to use that for my plantains. Turn that down, y'all. It's absolutely gorgeous what's happening to this. Look at that. You see that? It's beautiful. My rice is done. Look at look at that. Look at that one more time. Mm-hmm. That right there. Honey. Yes. Now, mine's a little spicy because I like a little heat. I'm on the way. You better come on in. Hey, Nisi. <laughs> Not yet. And let that cook. Every now and then, I'm just going to kind of let it drip so hard in the sauce. Yes. And see, now this sauce, let me show you what's happening to the sauce because some of y'all will worry. When that coconut milk, look at it, nice and creamy. When you let it reduce and do what it do, it does just fine. But sometimes it just needs for you to get out the way. Move. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Drip so hard in all that curry. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Now, I don't have a lid to cover this big pot. Oh, ah, ah. Ooh. thank you, Lord. So, we're going to do it improv style. And just uh, cover it with a little foil. my cabinets this week. I'm adding a little coconut milk. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. You ready for the cabbage? Mm. All right, cooks. Come in close. I need to talk to y'all about something. Because y'all been cooking the cabbage to death. And I'm here to tell you, you don't need to cook cabbage that long in order for it to be done and delicious. Okay? Turn my rear eye on extremely high. Don't worry, I ain't forget about the plantain. Pat laughs at me because I cook one thing at a time. I'm a very careful cook. All right. This is my uh my little pot. I was gonna use my new pot for that, but I'm I'ma just stick to my tried and true. My Tommy pot. That's my Tommy pot. For my brother Thomas. I done cooked the heck out of it. Uh some olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Salt. 
Now I'm going to layer that salt so I'm not doing a whole bunch. A little sugar. I don't know, just a pinch. Okay. Let it cook, let it cook, let it cook. Oh, this is from Kennedy. Hey, Kennedy. Thank you, baby. <laughs> and look at Tommy chiming in, y'all, to my hey, Tommy pot. Tommy, they done heard about this pot, baby. They done heard about all my pots and, and how you done hooked me up and took care of me. And ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. I don't want to cook in nothing else. So I ain't bought no new pots in like four years. I know eventually I'm going to have to, but I ain't ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. Now remember my cabbage? Pull it off. Remember I told you that I separated my green green from my white green cabbage? Here's why. The green green on the outside of that cabbage is a little bit tougher than the inside. But I want these green greens because it just makes it so beautiful and it's got a lot of the nutrients and fiber that you need. So I'm going to cook this part first and then I'll add my white green on top. All right, so dump and put it back on the fire. Um, yeah, yeah. Hi, Ruth. I'm fine, darling. How are you? I'm just over here living the dream. That's all. Just living the dream. You want that um, that dark green of your cabbage to really go for a little bit until it's nice and bright, but tender. Oh, uh, wow. We made it to Friday. That's good. I'm so glad to hear that, though. Uh, so I was listening to... Uh, so I love Dave Chappelle. I do. I think he's absolutely crazy and brilliant all at the same time. So I was listening, uh, watching before I started. Um, oh, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to finish that thought in a minute. Bright green. Now, light green. Like mixing old money and new money. Mm -hmm. Green on green on green. Sit that there. Oh, why am I cooking all this food? Well, olive oil. Remember, I'm layering the flavor, so I'm going to do another layer of salt. A pinch of sugar. It ain't sweet, but it just gives you the, the oh my, I mean, that you need, right? And some of that pepper. Where's my pepper? Here we go. Ooh, mommy. And my carrots. Boom. Boom. Does they kind of fry out? I don't like a lot of water in my cabbage. Uh, I don't. It should not be salty. Okay. And all that green green that was under, I'm just bringing it to the top now. Let me show you what I'm doing. Let me show you. 
I swear y'all my mom make the best cabbage in the world. I can eat a pot of that and some dry white rice. <laughs> Cause it's so good. So good. Cover for a minute. Okay. Y'all see here? I just dropped my phone. Hang on. Zoom. Y'all, this is, somebody don't want me to see how good this is. Somebody trying to block y'all blessing. Okay, I can't touch my phone no more. Because stuff is happening. Alright. I hear my cabbage going, oh, I was saying, Dave Chappelle. Love Dave Chappelle. He is so crazy, controversial. Oh, Lord. Child, he say the stuff that you think in your head that you know you're not supposed to say out loud. He's that dude. He's that guy. I'm turning my cabbage down. I hear it frying on the bottom, so now I just want to turn it all the way down um, and let it steam out. And in one part of his sketch, oh, the new um, uh, series that he did for Netflix that I just watched was called Sticks and Stones. It starts off being narrated by Morgan Freeman. Hilarious. And then he starts with all of his controversial. It some of the comedy makes you go, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then at some point, I just found myself like laughing out loud. It was so freaking crazy. He's crazy. Um, yeah. So um, one of the things he said was, you know, as far as our community goes. Uh oh, I don't want to write a comment. Where am I? Mm. Child, I can't see no comments no more. I don't know what I did. There we go. Hey, I see you now. <gasps> Tasha. Um. One of the things he said was, uh, as far as what we as black folks need to do, we we got to start getting together. And organizing and get out there and register for a legal firearm. I was like, oh snap. Wait, the way he said it was like he was gonna say register to vote, but he didn't say vote, he said get a legal firearm because then the laws would finally be changed to protect people from mass shoot. Like I said, crazy, controversial, but he never disappoints. He says the stuff that makes us all uncomfortable, but we know somewhere it's true. It just is. So, uh, oh my goodness. Mm. Y'all, what's happening with this curry is love in motion. Oh my gosh, I'm going to just once again, drip, 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 drip. Oh, it's so creamy. I didn't add a lick of flour or cornstarch to thicken it. The coconut milk will do all that for you if you're patient enough. Just be patient. The chicken is so tender. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh wowza, wowza, wowza. That's, that's just gorgeous. If I do say
say so myself. And I do. I'm going to cover that back up. Let me taste. To give her an award. I don't, I don't know what you're gonna do with me. I just don't. Um. But I tell you what, if you cooking and you can't praise your own pond, honey, what are you doing? Praise it. So I got all my plantain cut up in here. And I'm gonna put a little brown sugar. This is light brown sugar. I'm gonna just kind of oops, <laughs> a little much. That's alright. We're gonna make it work. Cabbage is looking good. Plantain is coming along. I want them kind of candied. So I got my brown sugar going. Like that. You tell you. That's a good little snack. It really is. Uh, I had to let that cabbage fry out a little bit more. Yeah. Your cabbage has a lot of water in it already, so you don't need to add water to your cabbage when you're cooking it. You just need to let it steam and go through the process. All I'm doing is really just tossing because I want that green green on top too, mixed in thoroughly. Oh, lovely. Y'all, this finished product is going to be amazing. You're going to love it. I want you to try it too. And when you do, I want you to show me your pictures. And don't worry about it. It ain't got to look like mine. It ain't got to taste like mine. But you need to try it. You do need to do that. You just need to try it. Okay, and let me show you. The I wonder if I can do this without tearing up my phone. Let me show the cabbage. Oh, oh, snap. Okay, cabbage. Mm hmm. That's fine. Curry chicken. That's looking amazing. And your host. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking about another special guest, y'all. A special guest that I would love to have. And if any of y'all know her personally, please, 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 please tell Mrs. Mary McCray. Mary McCray is um, over our school board here in Charlotte. And I want to have her over for dinner. Um, I'm going to send her an email to whoever her handlers are. And I want to talk about some of these... Uh, these issues happening in our school system or rather not happening in our school system and and I want to just have a forum for us to have some dialogue and dinner um about some truly effective effective 
changes um, that we need to be making for our students in Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. We've got to do better. We've absolutely got to do better. Um, and it, you know, for a while we had this thing going where um, there were several schools in the north part of Charlotte that wanted to break away from um, Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. They basically want their own little school system. And that's fine. You know, that's your child. You want the best for your student. I know I do. Um, if I have a child here in CMS, then I want the absolute best for my student system uh, charter setting um truth be told i don't think that there's a whole lot wrong with charlotte mecklenburg school system what i do have a problem with is that i think that especially when it comes to um some schools located in some uh, disadvantaged areas dare I say, poor communities. Um, we dumb things all the way down. Like our kids can't achieve and rise to the occasion. Uh, let me tell you, I've worked with our students for years in this school system. And I know that if you teach high, they'll learn that way. This whole thing about dumbing things down and letting students skate by and graduating kids that can barely read and therefore won't be able to fill out a, a job application in the future, I have a problem with. So we really, really have to start thinking about what we're telling our kids when we do that. We don't think you can, therefore we're going to give you the bare minimum. Not on my tax dime. Uh -uh. It shouldn't be that way. But so much of our system is. And uh, segregation in our school system is still very much alive. Let me say it again. Segregation in our school system, in CMS in particular, wherever you are, probably that too, is very much alive. And you're not doing our kids any favors. If you're not in it to offer our students the best, to let them know that they can, they will, and you demand that they do, then you might as well go on and uh, lick envelopes and, and just work from home. Because if that's your attitude about our kids in our system, you have no right, you have no place in the classroom. But we see a lot of that. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that there are many more changes to come with CMS. We got a new superintendent, Mr. Ernest Winston. He is a friend. Um, he's a family man. He has kids that are in CMS. And he believes in the power of our students, no matter their zip code. So I'm appreciative of Ernest Winston. As a matter of fact, Ernest Winston and Mary McCray, y'all can both be my special guests one night. And we can talk about some plans that, um, that need to happen for our students in this system. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Now, if you know them, go and tell them I'm looking for them. And I would be delighted to have them here. Because not a lot of our parents go to school board meetings. We know that's a fact. 
Some of them out there working two and three jobs, so they can't even make the 7 o'clock school board meetings on Thursday nights or whenever they have them. Um, but it doesn't mean that our parents don't care. And it doesn't mean that our parents, our kids, are not worth it. Okay? So, I would propose a slightly different forum by way of Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen. Come on in and let's talk about the issues that matter to our students and our families. Oh, I'm so excited. I just spoke that. I will have special guests, Ernest Winston and Mary McCray in my kitchen. And we're gonna talk about issues that matter to our kids and families. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's done. Not the chicken. I mean, the chicken is done, but what I just said is done. He is an awesome general. Mary McCray, Tom, my brother Tommy, she's an A Aggie pride. I Look, I need for somebody to get her on the phone. And tell her to come on to my kitchen. I'll even let her help cook. And we can talk. And, and just chat up about the vision. What's the vision? Going into this new school year for our students. What is the vision? I don't mean that vanilla vision that everybody puts on the CMS uh, district website. I want to know for real, for real. Like, if you had a kid in CMS today, what's your vision for that kid? That's what I want to hear. All right? Save me the white bread answers. Don't want it, don't need it. What is it that you really want our kids to have before they go out into this wild, cruel world? Mm-hmm. I ain't mean to get all deep, but... Uh, we got work to do. A lot of work. So I just put a little oil in my pan. And I put my sugar plantain um, neatly in there. I'm only going to turn it one time. I ain't going to be turning it 50 limb time. 50 limb. Who came up with that number? And how many is 50 limb? And why is it limb? Not 11. Limb. 50 limb. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. Ready, ready. Oh. Oh, this? Oh, this you mean? <laughs> now, you know. It would not be Sugar Pearl's Kitchen. Without my Cabernet, honey. And so you know, I've been drinking alkaline water all day long. And all week long. I've stepped my water game up. So I deserve a little Cabernet, honey. <laughs> my nephew Lathan. Child, I'm just talking. Just running my mouth. Doing what the ghetto gourmet does best. Cooking and talking and laughing and chopping it up. Dropping little doses of wisdom in here and there. Uh, hoping somebody catch the vision. That's all. That's all. Y'all, man, bo. In Lee County, Lynchburg, South Carolina, man, bo is an entire sentence. And you know what that means. It goes like this. Man bowl. Yeah, man bowl. Man bowl mean <laughs> that joint about to be good. Or it can also mean say what? Man bowl. Mm-hmm. 
teaching y'all several things tonight. I'm going to have to start charging admission. I don't have cash out, but. So, I ain't doing no fried fish. <laughs> I already got on them by doing fried fish and, and with all that bread and this stuff. We eating Caribbean tonight, honey. We're in Jamaica. We got some uh, curry chicken. Some cabbage and carrots. Some coconut jasmine rice and some fried plantain. I just remembered that uh, ain't nobody here with me. Yeah. Ha, you better put your money up, Tommy. You know I ain't charging you to come eat with me. Oh, why did I cook all this food? The good thing is, I'll be eating it tomorrow. I, you know, I might not eat it tomorrow. I might have a Sunday. Make it my Sunday dinner. But I had to make sure I kept my commitment to you and do my Facebook Live on Friday 6 6. So, this is, this is it. By the way, Willie, I've got my oxtails in the freezer. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to do that around October. When it gets a little cold, start cooling off a little bit. Do me a little oxtail stew. Mm. Yes, honey. I got them things in there. I had to buy them while they were affordable. Because, uh, you know, let me show you what I got here. I got a small pack. This is a little one. And this here was $13. But that's a, this is a small one right here. It's got... Three big tails and then three big pieces and then three small ones in there. We're going to do that in October. All right, it's time to turn the plantain one time. One time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't burn the plantain. I just burned it. I just burned it. Burn it, burn it. Yeah, I'm taking the burn ones out so y'all don't see. Uh -huh. Running my mouth, showing you stuff and all of that and mess around and burn my, burn my nannies. They all right though. All right, so, oh, I need something to put my plantain on. I got a little plate here. Set that to the side. We are eating good in the hood. This is my first time eating meat this week. And I'm noticing a change. The change is that I haven't even have a, had a craving for meat during the week. Um, so that by the time I get ready to eat meat, I can't eat but a little bit. So the plate that I'm going to make is going to look more like tapas, like a, a small plate, small plate. All right. Uh, get them plantain off before you burn more of them, child. Yes. Goody, goody. Goody, goody. Don't worry. I, I know I got a burn one right there. Y'all. Y'all y'all know this is... This is just... Every day for real life. Some days it work out, some days it don't. Another one. Oh, this sugar on these plants. Now, you don't have to put sugar on your plantain. I do it sometimes because I like them to taste like candy yams. And when you do put the sugar on them, they really do taste like candy yams. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, wow, wow.
All right, wash the hands because the sister is getting ready to throw down. I need more paper towels. I mean, I probably could have gone faster if I wasn't running my mouth, but about an hour and a half and dinner is done. You got a nice stewed chicken. Um, some veggies, a little starch with your, your jasmine coconut rice. Now this is the way it's supposed to look. Yeah. I'm going to put these on top so y'all won't see the burn ones I did. <laughs> ah! I love cooking. I just love it. Because you can... <laughs> you can create and screw up in the same day. <laughs> it's just fun. It's... I like learning from my mistakes and um, figuring out how I can do stuff better. So when I do these shows on Friday, I always go back and I look at them. I'm like, ooh, as far as my recipes go, I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe you want to do this next time. Uh, try this. So when I make a recipe, it's, it's never the same way twice, usually. It's always um, slightly modified. Slightly. But that's the beauty of creating. And if you're an artsy fartsy like me, you just get used to creating and screwing up and trying it again. Oh my goodness, y'all, our time is, is almost come to an end, but not before I plate this beautiful masterpiece for you. Cover that up so I don't get smoke in my home. My makeshift lid. Oh, look at the curry chicken. Look what God has done. You would think that I'm having a whole party up in here tonight. It's just me. I got my candles going. I got my reggae going. I got my cabernet. Yo, like I said, treat yourself. Uh, if you ain't treating yourself good, how you expect somebody else to do it? See, you got to know how you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Which means you have to get used to treating yourself a certain way. So that when someone comes along, you can tell them exactly what it is you want. What you're accustomed to. Be clear. Be clear. That's all I'm saying. Look, can't nobody come to me with no mess. Bringing me no um, uh, number five McDonald's meal. Mm -mm, that ain't how I want to be treated. Mm -mm. Like Chubb Rock said, treat me right. Yes. I just said, Chubb Rock, treat, treat me right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Taking it back to my pleasant high school, Chubb. Hey, cousin. Teach teacher. I can hear you saying that, Willie. Teach teacher. You're so crazy. Ooh. Oh, it made it pop. Made it pop, child. Now, let me get my little, um, uh, my ramekin. 
This was where my rice going in. I'm going to just do a little tapas plate tonight. Well, that oil is having one hell of a party in there. Calm down. The condensation from the lid is getting into the oil and it's causing it to, um, mm -hmm. time y'all look how separate and wonderful this rice is this is what your rice is supposed to look like it ain't supposed to be all clunky look look at there coconut jasmine rice coconut water coconut milk little butter little salt boom why you doing too much let it boil for five to seven minutes uncovered and then turn it all the way down, put the lid on it, and let it steam out. And this is what you get. Perfectly separated rice. Let me tell you. Honey, I'm from South Carolina, and we don't eat no clunky rice. We don't. Y'all know my little ramekin trick. Ramekin with rice. Plates. Oh, let me pack it down a little bit. I gotta make sure it's right. Make sure it comes out in one one piece. All right, all right. Y'all, that's all I need right there. That's all I need. I don't need to overdo it. You get me some cabbage and carrots. Just a little bit. Pat, I'm getting another spoon for the uh, chicken because I know you don't want me to cross-contaminate flavors. So I, I left the cabbage and carrots in that way. I got me a new spoon for my... Mm -hmm. My sister has uh, issues with that. Oh my God. It, it can't get no better. Oh no, messed up my plating. Get rid of that. Get rid of it. little tomatoes on there oh my goodness y'all I can't believe y'all hung out with me this whole time this is this is amazing every time y'all come on I am amazed I'm like wow like Sally feel you like me you really like me I don't think that's what she really said, but oh my goodness. Oh, I want some curry on that. I'm going to get me some plantain right there. Oh, I told you plating is important to me. So my plate needs to be what? Pretty. P-U-R-D-Y. Oh, it's got to be so beautiful. Come on, someone. Y'all ready? Are you ready for the big reveal? I lost my life, but that's okay. I'm still right here. You're still right here with me. You're still right here with me, honey. Don't go anywhere. Okay. 
All right. Ready? Oh, can you? Oh, crap. Hold on. This is not working. There we go. That's dinner. Curry chicken. Cabbage and carrots. Oh, back up. Up, oh, up. Oh. Cabbage and carrots. And a brown sugar plantain. And it only took about an hour, hour and a half. Minus my running my mouth. All right. Now the test. The real test is if I can eat my own cooking. <laughs> of course I can. Hang on. Hold the phone. Oh, gosh. Hang on, hang on. Yo. I need me a camera operator and a, a videographer. For all of this I be doing. This is ooh. Hey. Hey boo. Hey Shug. Now the light is different, I know, because I lost my little um my little lover. Oh, hold on. I know my sister is cringing right now. She's like, oh my god, Carla, get it together. Just get it together. Hold on. Because this has got to be right. It's got to be. Boom. There we go. Now we're ready. Hi. All right. And this is our um, curry chicken, rice and cabbage. Fried plantain, cabbage and carrots. All right, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Hold on. Just calm down. I want to take a picture of it first. Can I? I need to. I need to take a picture of it. Oh, hold on. Amen. I remember that time, Pat. Mm. Cabbage is just right. Tender, but not soggy. Curry. Get some rice on there. Mm. Ooh, mommy. All the flavors married together in your mouth you have to try this watch it tomorrow go get the ingredients and just do it for yourself at home tomorrow this is so mm-mm-mm uh, Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. She did it again. She did it again.
I had to slap myself. Because it shouldn't be this good, but it is. And I made it. At home. For me. Mmm. Long, I done immediately rocked on the chicken. I'm glad I added that coconut milk again because it cut the heat just a little bit. So it's not super, super hot. It's got just the right amount of sweetness in that curry. It's, mm, I, can't, I can't tell you nothing else. Y'all, this is date night. Date night. Willie, you want to take Angel to Jamaica without taking her to Jamaica? You better make this. Make it. Huh? I'm not cringing. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. My Aunt Hattie. Oh my gosh. I have to be careful, child, what I say. I got I got the aunties and the mommies watching. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm. Don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright mm. And every little thing is alright Well This concludes Another episode of Sugar Pearls Studio Kitchen Live. I feel like I need to get a sign made or something. Oh, well, in any case, I am always so grateful that you tune in to watch the crazy, beautiful mess that I make in the kitchen. Knowing that it's something that I love and I enjoy doing. And remember, if you don't want to make it, hire me. I'll come to you and I'll make it for you. I will. You and up to 75 guests. Y'all could have this dish right here. Mm-hmm. Um, don't forget, I need for somebody to get on... Mary McRae and Ernest Winston. Tell them I need them in my kitchen so we can talk about um, their vision for our students in this new year. And until next time, next Friday, I do believe, I'm going to try. Um, I'm trying to stick with Fridays because that's kind of a quiet time for me. And I've got time to prep and all of that. So Fridays at 6, looks like that's my thing. Mm. Family, I love you. Thank you. For all of your support and your encouragement, I am. Mm. Just a little country girl from Lynchburg, South Carolina, saying I love you. Bye.